Gino Ariyama uh, handled that uh, with as much class as I've ever seen anyone handle anything in my uh, life. Uh, that that was the he handled that really uh, impeccably. Uh, losing that game in overtime to Mississippi State. They beat them last year by 60. 6-0. They beat them by 60. And then uh, tonight, um, the, it's just incredible. Um, I guess uh, last year they, they had 38 points against them and, and got blown out. Tonight they had 66 uh, against them and beat them in overtime. But I just want you to know, if you didn't hear it, he handled it with as much class as you could ever imagine anyone handling any kind of a defeat that you've ever heard in your life. He basically said, uh, today uh, the girls learned a lesson uh, about life, that this is real life. And uh, winning 111 games in a row is not real life. That's, uh, it's just crazy. He said it's craziness. So the fact that they never lose, uh, all they've ever done is uh, made everyone else feel this way. We've always made everyone else leave the court feeling this way. And tonight we uh, were the ones that feel this way. We're the ones that uh, lost and we're the ones that have to feel horrible. And that's real life. Uh, and he said that uh, the girls that have uh, that are crying and miserable, he said that they uh, have been given so much from basketball at, at the collegiate level at UConn. They've been given so much. He said that uh, sometimes it takes it back. And uh, tonight was not the night for them to keep getting. <laughs> it was the night to... Uh, have somebody else get and you don't get it this time and uh, he said that it's a very tough venue uh, the final four to have a bad uh, night and he said uh, several of the girls had bad games and he said this isn't the place for bad games he said you, you can't have a bad night here uh, in this venue but uh, you know regular season bad nights you don't notice them but in the final four you notice them and he said uh, that's why we lost and he said that uh, the other team was very tough, and they played uh, very smart, and they deserved it. And he's like, uh, the coach did an excellent job, and uh, they lost by 60 to him last year, and this year they lost to him in overtime by two. So it's an incredible story. It really is incredible. We never, ever see UConn lose, ever. They're the only thing, frankly, that matters in women's college basketball. Are they not? I know South Carolina's good. I know Mississippi State's good, Notre Dame, Stanford, all that. I get all that, right? Baylor, uh, I get all that. But there really isn't anything that matters compared to UConn women's basketball, is there? So I'm getting the most out of it actually watching how they handle it, you know? How they handle the loss and how they... Uh, speak and respond and act uh, and behave. That's what I think is uh, really the most thing that you can look at here and get out of it. Um, you know, I think they, uh, personally, like I said, I thought R.E.M. handled it uh, I, better than I've ever seen anyone lose anything in my life. I, I can't remember a coach handling it better than what I saw.